Hello everybody! What's up? Welcome back to another week in my life. This is gonna be a very influencer-based week in my life. So if you're curious what a quote-unquote influencer does in a week in New York City, this one's for you. I've just got a ton of like different work things I'm doing. Um, if you're new to, my, new to my channel, I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years, I think 12 years now. I've had a podcast for five years with my best friend Brooke called Gals on the Go. And I love sharing my journey with you guys. So I just had a very productive morning. I've been really on the grind of like ordering my groceries on Sunday night. So they come Monday morning after my workout. And that way I have groceries in my apartment. It's been very helpful. But today's a very exciting day. Today we are headed to the podcast studio that we toured in one of my last vlogs. And we're going to start recording there from now on. And I am so pumped. Like I was texting Brooke. Like I'm just so excited to record. I'm always excited to record. But I was just especially excited to record today. So I am wearing this dress from House of CB. I'm so excited to go record and just get this week started. Welcome back. Oh yeah, what happens if you have a trip and like it's- really? Recording went amazing and I just ran home and I took a quick body shower. I'm actually about to get a spray tan, which it's just a sign that it's the end of the summer and I'm really sad. I just haven't been able to keep my color as well as I thought I would from like the Hamptons. I was so tan. Um, but I'm doing, which is part of the reason I made this like an influencer week in my life. Um, I'm doing like a big press photo shoot tomorrow. So I don't even know if you guys will see most of these photos. I mean, you guys eventually will. It's for like when I'm featured in articles and or like if we're announcing something stuff like that like i just don't have photos on hand that are professional of me um maybe i'll get a new profile picture out of this but my manager is flying into town as we speak right now from la and she was she was really passionate about doing this and so yeah for therapy my favorite time of the day this is a perfect opportunity to remind you guys about better help thank you better help for sponsoring this portion of the video so i'm about to hop on my computer and talk to my therapist i love better help because you can do therapy from wherever it's amazing in that way you don't have to wait in like an annoying waiting room and travel you can literally do it from your apartment your home your dorm room whatever it may be i love that they're making therapy super accessible I also just love it because there's so many different options. If you're not a big face-to-face kind of gal, you can literally just talk to them on the phone. They're very customizable to you, suited to your schedule. It's amazing. Therapy has helped me through so many different milestones in my life when I was literally trying to pick what college to go to, you know, because at the end of the day, my family had all these opinions and I just wanted to go talk to somebody that wasn't involved in my life, you know, to talk about more of the personal sides of things and just kind of be able to talk about all of my emotions without someone being like, well, you should do this one, you know? She was more so just there to listen, give advice as she saw, kind of point out things. She noticed patterns of things I was saying. And then as I've grown up in college, when I started to develop anxiety, and even now, post-grad, there's just so many different things like post-grad, um, like not having a true friend group like I did in college was really hard for me to kind of wrap my head around and like making new friends in a new city. And it was really nice talking to someone about it. Again, that's not involved in my life. And it's just so nice. Like if you're having relationship troubles or family stuff or just you're just wanting to talk to someone that's why i love BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy easy accessible and just suited to your schedule i also know how hard finding a therapist can be my friends have talked about it i understand i've been there as well but with better help it is just so easy and if you don't like the therapist that they match you with you can literally get a new one which is so nice you also do fill out a questionnaire for better help to kind of help direct you towards a certain therapist which is really awesome finding a therapist is literally like dating so if you're struggling with it definitely use better help like i said you fill out a questionnaire and they help match you so if you're struggling or you're just wanting someone to talk to go to betterhelp.com slash danielle carolyn and now i'm gonna start therapy <laughs> And thank you again, BetterHelp, for supporting my channel. Spray tan is done. I'm wearing my spray tan shirt, Shannon Ford's um, merch, which is just so perfect. And I just forgot that post spray tan feeling tonight for dinner. I'm gonna start on dinner now. We're making fusilli pasta. It's my favorite pasta kind of noodle, fun fact, with ground turkey. I've never done this before. Usually I do meatballs, but I love turkey. So I'm gonna like cook that on the side and add it to the pasta. So I'm going to start by cooking the ground turkey 
for some reason, whenever I cook Italian food, I literally need to listen to Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, that vibe. So I'm gonna get those vibes going. But it's gonna be a yummy night. Got my boy Frank on, just finished cooking. I cooked the rest of the ground turkey to use for another meal like tomorrow. But yeah, I've got the pasta, ground turkey, and some sauce. I just ate and I got some work done. And I just went down and got my packages and I'm so excited. Because I've been obsessed with Dish, D-I-S-S-H. I actually have been shopping for them for a while. Um, I used to have this pair of jean shorts from them that everyone always asked me where they're from. And I was like, I found them on Dish. It was like a random website to me. And now Dish is out and about everywhere I go. I got some really lovely pieces. I'm going to Nantucket this weekend. And it's still summer and Dish has just great like basics and fall is coming up. So this first piece is very like coastal grand slash transitioned into fall. Thought I'd do a little haul, why not? Look how cute. I love this collared striped sweater. It's so cute, could also be cute. Thrown over the shoulder, love. I still have like my food, I need to like clean. <laughs> Oh, I am so excited about this. I've been wanting this for so long and it's perfect for my Nantucket trip. It's this strapless linen dress. Like this is just so cute. I got it to wear in Nantucket this weekend with like a sweater thrown over my shoulders. I hope it fits well. I'm not trying all this on right now because I have a spray tan. That would be literally so dumb, but I'm obsessed with this and I hope it fits right. Next up, this is another fall essential. I guess, but I wear blazers all year round. It's a blazer. I loved how it looked on the model. It's this oversized, like beige-ish, taupe-ish color. I love it. There's some shoulder pads in there, which are my favorite kind of blazer. I love an oversized blazer. I even love one if you like belt it and just wear it as is with like a little mini skirt. It's so cute and I just feel like I'm gonna get a good use out of this blazer. And then lastly, I got this dress. I thought it's perfect for travel. Like. I might wear this on the plane to Nantucket or on the way back, whatever, or just for coffee runs, stuff like that. It's this beautiful, like thick ribbed sweater dress that just flows out, cinches in the back with a bow, which I think is nice. It's not like a belt. It's just like, you don't see it in the front. It's just in the back. And it's so beautiful. It looks so lovely on the model. I love the slightly flared sleeves. So cute. So. I just was feeling like doing a haul for you guys in this moment. <laughs> but yeah, I just love, I love how my living room looks at night. Like I love the blue, dark midnight sky coming in. And I always just pretty much set up shop there and do work, um, but I love it. All right, I'm gonna start packing my bag for the photo shoot tomorrow. I'm bringing my Luxie clip-in hair extensions. I got two different colors. They actually sent them to me, which was so nice, just to make sure the color is a match tomorrow. Um, but I'll show you guys just kind of what it looks like. They send you like a little sample on top before you open it all. Um, so this is one of the colors. I mean, this matches really perfectly. But I'm gonna, so Mitchell Ramazon, like I said, is doing my hair, so I'm just gonna have him decide like which one's better. This one maybe looks a little lighter, but I like my ends to be lighter. So I don't know. Um, but I'm so pumped to have some longer hair. These are just like the clip-in extensions and I'll vlog more tomorrow as well. But packing these, it's so weird. This is like one of the first photo shoots that I literally just, I'm gonna wake up, shower, wash my hair and show up. Like I'm getting my makeup done, my hair done. Like I said, I have stylists and my manager's here and her um, assistant slash my campaign manager. I'm meeting for the first time in person. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of hands on deck and like I'm just, I'm just showing up. Like I'm literally, it's so fun. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I said this earlier, but these aren't like pictures I'm really gonna be posting on Instagram. Like maybe one, maybe I'll make one of my profile picture, but I did want to bring a couple other things though. Oh, like a snack and then a speaker. The photographer may, I've never worked with this photographer before. Usually I have like my go-to photographer girlies, but they're literally all either out of town or busy. So we're working with this very professional, really talented photographer, Brendan. I'm like nervous. His work is so good, um, like insane. So I feel like he knows how to curate a vibe, but I kind of want to bring a speaker so I can play Drake and feel myself, you know? But where is my speaker? Aha, I found it. This is a 
UE Boom. I've had this forever and it seems to be my go-to speaker and I have a whole little charging station in my bedroom. Got my speaker charging so I'll grab that in the morning and I'll probably just wear something extremely comfortable tomorrow like something I'm because we're the studios in Brooklyn, which is typical for photo shoots in New York. A lot of the studios are in Brooklyn because there's just more space. So I'll probably wear something like comfy that I can get my makeup done in. Um, as for bedroom updates, I really appreciate all of your comments and feedback on my apartment, especially my bedroom as I'm figuring this all out. So I officially have sold the chair, which is so sad, but it's just needed. I love this chair and it looks so cool. And someone was like, maybe you have a friend that would take it for now. And then when you move, one day you can take the chair back. But, like, I don't love it that much. And it, it's just not practical. I've loved this chair. It's been great. But I found a great home. So I ended up purchasing a second storage unit right there from Wayfair. And some people said I should put them together, which I might try. But I, I don't know why. I just love the idea of there being a matching one on this corner. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll put them next to each other, both over here. Because I'm also going to get rid of this light. Because, actually, my movers were amazing. But the one thing, they did break one of these bulbs. And I don't use this light a lot. It's just for extra light. But it's not really necessary. So, I'm going to donate this. Maybe someone can figure out what they want to do. But either way, it's just kind of cluttered over here. So, I still don't, I need to figure out my suitcase. A lot of people are saying I probably need a new bed. I don't disagree with you, but I just love my bed. I love having a low bed. Um, but, yeah, it was a little bit of an oversight on my part when I was, like, designing my room and moving to New York. I made the decision to get the low bed when, in reality, I probably should have just been a freaking responsible person and gotten a bed with storage. But I just really love this bed, and, you know, I'm still happy with it for now but anyways besides the point yeah matching piece of furniture will be going over here for now my friend colby is taking this plant i wanted to have a good home it just doesn't go well in here at all i bought new nightstands from wayfair they look very similar to this um so those will be going on either side and those will have two drawers each so even more storage so it'll look less cluttered and more less like i don't like how you can see all the cords over there but then i was <sighs> thinking okay we need more color because once I get rid of the green tree then there's literally no color in here someone suggested I kind of switch up like what I put in this vase you know I've had this pompous grass forever um maybe I could put greenery in here or I could just move this all together or just have nothing in here and I'm thinking to get some sort of artwork for right there I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how to add more color I could also switch up what's above my bed is an option but I like I like it being calm and neutral in here because it relaxes me. I could also get colored pillows. That's an option. So yeah, that's the update <laughs> on my bedroom. Just cleaned up dinner. I've got the dishwasher going. I'm very thankful to have a dishwasher. I can't lie. It is, it is a novelty here in New York City to have a dishwasher. And I do, I count my prayers on that one. I'm also just trying to drink as much water as possible to just stay hydrated so I look good for my photo shoot. Okay, it's time to take my half a puff down. Down. This is from Kitsch. It's apparently a an elastic cutter because I just have like a little clear elastic. So I think you basically hook it in the plastic and then pull up to break the elastic. And then this way you're not like breaking your hair. We do this right. I don't know. I can't be trusted. It didn't like cut my hair. I was getting nervous. <laughs> Not actually, but wow. Highly suggest one of these. That was so easy and no hair was broken in the making of that half up, half down. Like I said, I'm gonna wash my hair in the morning so it's fresh for Mitchell to work on. And yeah, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna shower off my spray tan tonight or in the morning. Because I don't want to shower it off tonight and then it's not dark enough, but I don't want it to be too, too dark tomorrow. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm wanting to go to bed soon, so I need to make my decision. Oh my God. All right, we've closed up shop. Retainer is in. So is my scalp hair oil or whatever, scalp oil for hair growth. And I've decided not to sleep, or I've decided to sleep in my uh, spray tan. RIP to my freshly cleaned sheets, but <laughs> I think it'll be worth it. 
I'll see you guys in the morning. Photo shoot day. Good morning. shower wash my hair I had a lovely morning coffee moment Sunday Riley CEO glow stuff is amazing my manager texts me she's like I need you to be well rested do your best skincare routine get some snatching going <laughs> I'm excited I'm excited I'm gonna romanticize my drive to Brooklyn <laughs> listen to some good music hype up days like today I'm like what is my life <laughs> this is so crazy I mean, I'm fully paying for this shoot, by the way. <laughs> but I'm thankful that I'm in a position that I can do that and that there's things to be shot. <laughs> do some eye cream. Okay, guys, I'm putting on Peace Out Puffy Eyes. I'm just gonna put these on. Should I get in the Uber with them? That's the real question. Should I do it? Am I ballsy enough? We will find out. <laughs> Okay, packing the tote. Like I said, there's not much I need to personally bring, which is just so crazy. I'm used to like gals in the go shoots when we bring everything. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring deodorant just because, and some Glossier U perfume just to like, you know, freshen up. Speaker. And then my Lexi hair extensions. I think that's it. Um, brush my teeth this is what i wear a lot of times to shoots it's just this aritzia romper i'm gonna bring like a little sweater too because it's usually cold in those places um or oh i have this like denim moment i literally just got this it's very fall oh this is so cute like it's this oversized denim shirt from the brand henny h-e-n-n-e -N -N -E. i'm obsessed i love that it snaps too because it's just easy and I love the over like I'm, I'm obsessed yeah this is perfect and I'm just gonna wear some like sandals so I don't get like sock marks on my legs the spray tan showered off beautifully I'm happy hey guys I'm with Mitchell Kat just finished my makeup we're starting, we're doing like all kinds of looks today. So we started with like this natural glam, I love it. We've got the whole team here doing like my classic, just the blowout moment look. And then we're building off of it. I'm so, I'm literally so excited. This studio is so beautiful too. We're here with Danny. We're getting all, this is the first look I'm obsessed. We're doing silver. Let's see. All right, Let's see what the one's rings it. I'm engaged. Yes, engaged to be married. <laughs> engaged to Danny. Yeah. Taking the guys out okay. here. Time for some bounce. Time for some bounce. Really like that bounce. Show me. Extensions are coming in, baby. These look so natural. We love Luxie hair. He said the quality is so good. That's saying something. It's Mitch approved. Mitchell approved. <laughs> Mitch approved. Oh, I get it. Mitch approved. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. Do I need to get my extensions again? I need. Well, I just need to learn how to like properly put these in. I was trying to watch you a little bit, but these look so good. everyone's favorite look so far it's very me i'll show you guys soon we're doing some like i'm calling it serena vanderwitz and hair like he said you slept in it 
curly and then he woke up and she's like messy yet we're doing a lot yeah. to get it. She went to her boyfriend's house last night. Yeah, I slept at Ryan's. Into the yeah, it's just so casual. All right, goodbye extensions. We are snatching it up. We're doing updos now. It's happening. Tell me this isn't giving like just finished a dance recital in her unitard like oh my gosh you guys what a day <laughs> oh my god that was so much fun i was really i was just nervous you know it's like a photo i've never really done I, i've done like one other photo shoot like that but the, i walked in and there's stylist hair makeup creative directing like all for me which was so crazy and i'm just so grateful to have such an amazing team around me. I actually ended up walking back, not from Brooklyn. I went with my manager and someone else that works on my team. Um, we went to like a late lunch and that was really nice. And then I just walked back from the East Village. I got these beautiful flowers because my friend Margo Lee turned 25 like a week or so ago, um, but she was overseas. So she's having like a birthday picnic today in celebration on the West Side Highway. So I was like, I feel like everyone's gonna bring a bottle of wine or something. So I thought I'd bring her some really pretty flowers to have at the picnic and then to bring home with her. Um, I've been loving going to the florist. It's been a very fun little moment. Um, so I'm feeling very grateful. And if I sit down, then I'm not gonna wanna get back up. The Luxie hair extensions were a hit. They went so well. I'm, gonna, I'm determined to be able to do those myself. Um, it's definitely possible. I mean, they're made for like, you know, everyone to just use at home. And I've done them before. I used to have them like when I was younger. So, yeah, that was amazing. Can't wait for you guys. Well, I'm not gonna be really posting the photos a ton until like as they come out, but I'm gonna make one a profile picture for sure. All right, just changed my outfit. I actually ended up taking out my bun um, because the hair was all cute and curled. So it's a cute little perky pony with the slick back still. Dress is from Revolve. I love like the low back moment. These are my new favorite sunglasses. They're from Amazon. I will have them linked down below. I really like how they're just like a little bit bigger than my Les Specs ones. Jenny Bird hoops, simple, simple Reebok sneakers cause I'm walking and flowers, tote bag. I'm so excited to celebrate Margo. <laughs> scared of myself right now the journey that is ah, oh I should use my elastic cutter taking out this slick back is real this thing is amazing the picnic was amazing I actually ended up stopping by ooh ooh I feel like I'm cutting hair no I'm not okay well whatever um we stopped by my friend Caitlin's apartment too because she lives here now, so that was fun. We like chatted for a bit. I don't even know what's going on back here. I'm literally gonna have to FaceTime Mitchell and be like, holy crap, is there a pin? There's not even a pin, it's just so much hairspray. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. I love Wednesdays, as we all know. Why? Because we post a new podcast episode and I upload a new YouTube video. So it's kind of like Christmas morning. I love seeing 
everyone's excitement about the videos and all that. So I just was getting all that uploaded now. And then my sweet brother called me on his way to work and we had like a nice 20 minute chat, which was just a great start to my day. He's a very motivated, he's like in his, Brooke and I are talking about this, both of our little brothers are in their like motivation, fitness grind mode and it's just adorable. Like one day I'm gonna be taking care of you and it's really cute, honestly. Um, so it was just so fun, fun talking to him and I love hearing him love his job and everything. Um, but yeah, it's Wednesdays, which also means I go work out with my trainer, Jane. I'm obsessed with these Skims tank tops, like the way they fit. And then I have this like sports bra, it's like a little bit longer one from Story On. Little lemon leggings, my APLs. These are what my trainer prefers I work out in or just any sort of like flat sneaker, I guess, for weight training. But we're gonna go on a nice lovely walk to the gym and we've got a busy day ahead. So let's get started. We are back from my workout. I got my smoothie. It was fabulous. We are packing for an Nantucket. I leave tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. We're doing our, it's becoming like a little annual girls trip situation. Um, so if you can't tell by my color scheme, I am just realizing now it's basically red, white, and blue, which is hysterical. It's very Nantucket. I am severely overpacking. But I just never know what I'm going to want to wear. I made a PowerPoint. I do have like kind of what I want to wear. But sometimes your mind changes. You know, you can't help that. So that's like my comfy like coffee run breakfast outfits. Then I'll bring like one or two workout outfits just in case we like go for a walk. This is a walking group. And then I have my Coastal Grand sweaters to throw over top. Or it might be a little chilly in the evening. And then we've got all of my dresses and my outfits. I'm so excited. I will be vlogging, of course but it's gonna be so much fun. So I'm gonna get packing these. Okay, so everything is packed clothing wise, including my pajamas and some comfy clothes. Oh, except for workout stuff and a bathing suit, but everything else is packed. So now I've got my little PowerPoint here that I've created. It's nothing crazy. I just literally have photos of, of myself in them. This is a new thing I'm doing um, because like you can look at the model, but like, what does it look like on me? How am I gonna feel that day? Um, so I can see everything and I need to go pick out shoes. That's the only thing I didn't like style each of these with shoes So I need to kind of decide so we have like our itinerary and stuff like loosely So I kind of put what I think I'll wear on each day. So now I'm Looking like okay. I think a lot of these I could wear the same shoes for so I just want to go to my closet and be like Okay, what shoes can I do? Okay, I pulled three pairs of shoes wearing this on the airplane wearing my Reebok sneakers on the plane as well. And I'm gonna bring these two bags, purses, and then a tote bag, obviously, on the plane. And then this is my favorite Amazon jewelry organizer. I'll have it linked below that my friend Kelly recommended. I have all of my necklaces. I'm bringing extra jewelry, but it's nice to have options, and it's so easy. You literally just roll it up and put it in the suitcase. I am so impressed with myself right now. You know those days when you're like, oh my god, I have so much time. I thought I had to get ready way sooner. I still have 30 minutes. So I went ahead and packed for Nantucket essentially. I'm like, do 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 do. I'm like, oh, it's 1.13. I need to start getting ready at 1.30. No, 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 I need to leave here at 1.30. I did not need to start getting ready at 1.30. I hadn't even showered yet. I am so impressed with myself. It's 1.40, it's 1.40. 1.30, I always give myself 30 minutes to get places from the city because I'm pretty central. And that way I'm never late because it's really only gonna take me 20 minutes. So or 15 really, it's, so I'm good on time. I'm glad I did that for myself. We are going to do something so annoying, but you guys will find out what I'm doing this Wednesday when Wednesday's video uploads. I'm just going to film a couple more things um, around the city for this video I'm coming out with on Wednesday. It's just like a fun new video. It's nothing crazy, just something fun and different. Don't mind me down here putting on my sneakers. Um, but we're ending in Soho and um, working with a stylist yesterday, they loaned me this Marc Jacobs epic set from their new collection, Heaven. It's like more of a streetwear situ oh God, situation from Marc Jacobs. And I was like, I need to, like, this is so not Nantucket, but I want to, like, get a cool picture in this. I'm just trying to get more into fashion. Fashion week's coming up. So I'm going to go and so like, after I'm done with the thing I'm doing. I'm going to shoot this outfit in Soho, so I had to like get ready too, but I'm pretty impressed with myself. Alright, let's go do the thing. 
doing silver and I have bangles in my bag, but I'll add those later. Okay, I finished what needed to be done. Now we're gonna take a picture. my happy place um today went so well i got really cool photos and um i'm really happy and the set i was wearing earlier so fun got this really so oh, hello got this really cool video tried to be a trendy soho girly you know we tried but it's just so fun i that's one of the reasons i love living in new york city you can wear whatever the heck you want and i really just get to express myself and tomorrow i'm going to nantucket gonna totally switch up the vibe and wear like a gingham dress. I love that about myself. I just like it all. I like adjusting to my environment. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a quick laundry load so I have everything I need to pack. More so just like socks and just like some of my favorite, my workout onesie I really just love for travel because it's easy if you're just needing to put something on real quick. Doing a little, we're doing one load so I'm just gonna do a cold wash. Um, you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. I like to separate my lights and darks, but I don't have time for that today. So we've got a little bit more work to do. Gonna hang out with Ryan tonight. Um, he's actually going, he's uh, seeing his family this weekend. And then I'm obviously going to Nantucket, so. Oh shit. Guys, ah, I didn't do cold. I was like, ah. Me talking all about it. Phew! That was a close call. So I met Ryan for a walk along West Side Highway. We stopped by Pier 57. We really like it here. Um, to get like a drink or a snack. I don't know if we're gonna eat dinner here, but it's cute. Hello. Mm. Back from our walk. Got some Frank Sinatra going. Stopped in the market and Ryan saw this chicken piccata they had freshly made. So we were like, oh my god, perfect. We got our protein. I already had all this pasta I made and green beans. So easy dinner tonight. Post walk, I hit seven or no, 16,000 steps. Feeling good. That's nice. Literally just had this done in under 10 minutes. Look how good this was. Everything was cooked by us except for the chicken. But like, feels like a home cooked meal. And that's a wrap for this. I was gonna say this week's episode <laughs> kind of yeah, that's a wrap for this week's episode I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Thank you for, to better help for sponsoring this video Ryan and I just watched only murders in the building and Then said goodbye because we won't see each other this weekend. I had to Nantucket tomorrow get excited for those vlogs and I'll see you guys next time. Bye mm -hmm.